In this demo, we're going to show how to use the template library to draw an oligopeptide structure. First of all, open up the template menu and locate the peptides amino acid subgroup. As you can see, each of the naturally occurring amino acids are listed along with their single letter code. We're going to draw an amino peptidase N ligand, which consists of six peptide units bridged by one cysteine link. First of all, we select the beginning cysteine and we fix that structure. And we're just going to flip it around because we're going to be drawing the peptide from left to right. Now we select the carbonyl oxygen reopen the template menu and the next sequence of peptides we want is NGRCG. So first of all we click on the N peptide and you can see that the suggested template match is a reasonable one for a linear geometry as a 2D schematic. So we accept and you can see that the current atom is now moved to the next carbonyl site. So we click on the glycine peptide unit, also the correct geometry that we want. And the final glycine unit. Now we've drawn all of our amino acids. We just need to finish off the structure by drawing an oxygen end cap. Now the last thing we have to do is connect up the two sulfur atoms. And first of all, we're going to rotate the orientation of one of them. So they're both facing towards each other. Now we select both of the sulfur atoms. and form a single bond between them. And that completes the drawing of a peptide structure. As you can see, the number of steps involved is very few, and it uses the standard template fusion methods that are available for all parts of MMDS.